Hello again all and welcome to another video. So today I'm going to be talking about why did I buy an Olympus OMD EM5 Mark III for vlogging. I'm going to start off by saying that I have not betrayed Nikon. Nikon is still my main camera for shooting photography and for the foreseeable future it always will be. I'm not going to sell out to Sony just yet. While I'm rambling about how useful this camera is for vlogging or making videos, uh, we're going to be having a walk down to Nine Ladies Stone Circle. Never been before, should be interesting. And as usual, I'll put some pictures on the screen as we're walking along, so let me know if you like them in the comments. Okay, so first and foremost with this camera, flippy, fully articulated screen. And I talked a lot about getting the Nikon Z6 because it's got an articulated screen or a flippy screen. Using the Z6 for trying to film myself was interesting to say the least. They're trying to get things in focus, accidentally touching the manual focus ring while trying to hold the camera and point it at myself. Um, so being able to see myself, have a light camera so I can stretch out my arm and do this, makes life a lot easier. So Nikon, if you are listening, make a camera with a fully articulated screen that isn't the Z9 and costs a new mortgage or whatever that thing costs. Yeah, maybe on the Z6 free, and then we might talk. Of course, you might say there's the Z50, which has got one of those fancy flip down screens. Once again, it's a bit awkward, isn't it? Like, you know, you're gonna have to get a cage for it to move the tripod to something else and mess around with it and probably block your battery down in the process. And you just want ease of use at the end of the day. That's all we want is something nice and easy to use. So another thing about this camera, it is tiny. For an interchangeable lens camera, it is super small with its micro four third sensor. And also having the option to open up to other lenses is great for me because I like photography and if I can ever get the chance just to go outside and take some pictures with a small camera without having to look around a big full frame camera, giant lenses, that's great. The fun side of it is this lens that I'm using at the moment, 14 to 42 millimeters, pancake lens, absolutely tiny, really small, is once with the crop factor taken in, is a similar kind of focal length to my 24 to 70 on the Z6 that I use at the moment, and is my primary lens on there. So I can get similar kind of shots that I'm used to, all in a small package. Is there trade-offs with that? Very much so. But just having that accessibility to take a camera out and use it, that's a win. So other popular choices of camera, why not a Sony EV10 or a ZV1? ZV1 is stupidly popular at the moment for vlogging and probably a good recommendation for a first camera if you want to get into that. It is small, it's lightweight, but it doesn't have the interchangeable lens. Like I said, I like photography. So I want to buy a camera that does all of the things for me without having just a certain thing. If I was to get a ZV1, I feel like I would be stuck with that fixed lens and I would just be using it for video. That could work for me because I do want it for vlogging, but to be able to get a camera with an interchangeable lens and have some fun as well, that would be great. But then we go on to the Sony EV10, another commendable camera. Not a micro four thirds camera, but a crop sensor. And then we come back into the argument again, of, once again, it's slightly too big to be carrying around and using for just a vlogging camera. So all of these for me make the Olympus a very great system to use and I'm really hoping to get some more out of it. Now, this is not a technical overview of why the Olympus OMD EM5 Mark III is a great camera. If you want that, there's plenty of other videos on YouTube that you can go and watch with a lot more technical specs than I can give. All this is, is why this camera suits me at this time for this channel. So getting closer, I think, to the, um, I hope we're getting closer, to the circle. Um, absolutely lovely beach trees all around here at the moment. I mean, I've never seen a forest of beach like this. So I'm going to get some shots, as usual. Quite old as well. Um, and one of the things I've been finding a lot in these little adventures around Derbyshire at the moment is a lot of the forests are very young. 
Um, I say very young. I mean, to get the trees that big, they're not going to be as young as I am. But the forest, a lot of the areas are from old quarries, old mines, open cast mines that have been covered up, and they're trying to make way for new wildlife, which is an excellent thing, but it does mean that the wildlife might not quite be there yet, and the trees aren't quite there yet, whereas these have some beautiful textures on them. They're just so thick and full. The Nine Ladies Stone Circle has a legend. The Nine Ladies were turned into stone for dancing on the Sabbath, and the King's Stone was the fiddler. Apparently, the stones are part of an embanked stone circle built around 4,000 years ago. Remember kids, if you dance on the Sabbath, this can happen to you. Slowly heading towards Earl Grey Tower right now. I'm not too sure I'm going to get a cup of tea, but I could certainly do with one. Obviously no fungi today, but still some great sights, some great trees. This very awesome tower that you get to look at. It's not too much in terms of signboards and the history of the area, but it's something I'm going to look up when I get home because it is a very magnificent building. Well, it once was anyway. So I just filmed myself having a little bit of a walk, you know, where you put the camera down, photographer walks in front of the camera and it makes a really nice story, la da da, all of that. But what you don't see is that the photographer has to then walk back and pick the camera up and turn it off. I mean, obviously this is great, bit of storytelling and really, really shows location, but it feels weird. And what I'm going to call this, if it doesn't have a name already, and it should have this name, is the photographer's walk of shame, where they turn around, pick the camera back up. Of course, I'm not going to stop doing the walk of shame because, yeah, it's fun, isn't it? Back to the more serious stuff. If you do have any comments about the Olympus camera, you want to have any questions about, um, you know, what's it capable of, what does it do, how am I finding it for vlogging, anything that I might not have covered, shoot them in the comments. I'm more than happy to answer those. So it's reasons like this I love living in Derbyshire because middle of nowhere, massive stone, looks like it's going to fall over and crush a human being. But how did it get here? Who knows? It's pretty though. Although it does have a bit of a mark on it. Okay, so I stopped being lazy and looked up what EIN1831, which is somewhere up there somewhere, what it actually means. So, so apparently this is a four cat stone, um, which apparently means there was a battle here at some point. Pretty lousy place for a battle. I'm hoping there was less trees and forest. Um, but you know, now, like Robin Hood running through the trees, arrows flying everywhere. It's pretty cool to think about, really. I didn't think I was going to find many fungi today, but I have come across this wonderful little bit of um, bracken on a silver birch tree. I've got the picture in shot now. I've taken a couple already. Um, I've been playing around with the light, so I might choose my favourite. Trying to get some cool effects, but that's just me. But I'm going to also going to take a clean shot. General settings on all. I'm letting the shot speed decide itself as usual. ISO 100, F8, just to try and get a bit of that depth of the field. See how it turns out. Hope you've enjoyed this video and it's been useful for you as usual if you have liked it please remember to like and subscribe down below every little bit does help we're on the way back now but i will put some more pictures on the screen for you to enjoy see you later all well.